Shalom, you too. Bella Navar back. And uh, today I want to talk about motherly love. Um, I didn't realize until I got older how much my mother did love me in comparison to other mothers out there. I always thought, I guess when I was younger, that all mothers are the same. Like all mothers were like my mother. I didn't truly, truly appreciate my mother till I got older and realized everything she tried to do for me and my younger brother. I guess you could say that I grew up spoiled to a certain extent. My mother just didn't spoil me beyond measure. She taught me how to go out here and be independent. She taught me how to fend for myself. She taught me how to grow up and do what's right. But my mother in particular, she's a woman who always took care of her kids. Me nor my brother had our fathers in our lives. My mother was always there for us. She was a strong woman. She is a strong woman. And she would never let us run her over. She would never uh, let us just get away with any and everything. My mom punished us real bad when we were younger because she didn't want us to grow up to be bums. She didn't want us uh, out here going to prison, robbing people, and, you know, doing drugs. A lot of that stuff we did get caught up in because after a certain age, uh, people just do what they want to do. And we made bad choices, but I would like my mom to know that anything that we've done it wasn't because she did a bad job. My mother was an excellent mother. She she still is to this day. Uh, out of all the women I can think of in the world, and out of all the people, period, in general, I know that if there's one person I can count on, it's my mother. That's real talk. A lot of people can't say that. A lot of people have horrible relationships with their mothers and their, and their parents in general. I can't say that. I, I can't, uh, I can't sympathize with that because I didn't go through that. A lot of people be like, well, I understand. No, you don't understand unless you've been through it. I know uh, in the past couple of years of my life, I've witnessed some crazy stuff and how uh, mothers treat their children. And like I said, I thought that all mothers were the same at one point in my life. Until I got older and I realized like I was really blessed with a good mother. And I could see how because of how my grandmother is. Uh, my grandmother raised my mom to be an independent woman. There were certain things that my mother did that, you know, when I got older, I realized like she is a very, very strong woman. I have a child myself and my mother always helped me out with my child ever since my, my baby was born. And she's a lot older now, but my mother has always been there. She's been an excellent grandmother. She's been an excellent person, period. And I wouldn't trade her for nothing else in the world, no other mother. I think that a lot of times she don't understand that, you know, I look at her that way because I don't always show it. But I guess I'm gonna have to work on that. But, you know, for everybody out there who wish they had a good mother, I could definitely understand why, because there's nothing like that. Um, my mother was always single. She got married when um, I probably was about 10 years old, but up until that time, she was always single and she always held things down on her own and you know apart from our differences in religion and stuff like that i can never discredit her for everything she has been to me i can never do that and you know i just you know like everybody to understand that just because you don't have a good mother that doesn't mean you can't gain good people in your life because wherever you lack at the most high God 
will always send somebody to replace that. If you can see it, a lot of us don't see it. Um, my brother, he could testify, and he he have the exact same testimony as far as my mother goes. She's a, she's a very strong woman, and you know, I want her to always know that, even though I always show it. You know, because I don't celebrate Mother's Day and all that type of stuff. But I, I want her to know that, you know, I love her every day, not just, you know, one day out the year. And I wish that I could be, you know, more affectionate towards people, you know, but I'm just not built like that. I guess I just got to work on it. I need to hug her more. I do need to kiss her more, but, you know, that's just something that I've never done. I think I need to start doing it, but y'all know where I'm going with this. Uh, if you got a good mother, you know, keep her close to you. And if you don't have a good mother, you know, I pray for you because I realize that I am blessed. And I, I pray that God send somebody in your life to be that for you. I pray to God that whatever wicked, your mother has done to you, you can forgive her and move past it and understand that things are always going to be the same. You know, even though people are evil, that don't mean you have to turn around and be evil back. You know, that's that's not our way. Christ, you know, we, we taught in the Bible to, to, to love our enemies. Your, your parents could be your enemies at times, you know? especially when you're dealing with this word. Make no mistake about it, I'll never uh, love my mom more than that word. That won't ever happen, but I just like to encourage people that, you know, if you don't have a good mother, it's okay. God will send somebody in your life. And I'm not saying that they'll necessarily be there to replace your mother, but I'm just saying he'll send somebody there who can be there for you, who can love you. And a lot of us miss it. A lot of us have been blessed with people in our lives, but we just didn't accept them. And it's amazing to me that people say they want good people in their life, but when they come along, they be right up under their nose and they don't see it and don't accept it. I wish to God that Things could be different between uh, a mother and daughter who might have their differences here and there. I wish to God that things didn't have to be that way all the time. You know, a lot of people don't understand, man. You got some evil spirited mothers out there jealous of their kids because their kids then passed them up. You know, maybe, you know, the mother she went to school and never finished and her kids is finishing school and being successful. A lot of a lot of mothers envy that. A lot of parents in general. And it's because of the lifestyle that they chose. A lot of mothers say they mothers, but they're really not mothers. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about all those wicked women who gave their kids up and never tried to be a part of their lives. I'm talking about all those women who chose drugs and alcohol over their kids. I'm talking about women who chose men over their kids. I, you know, it's it's a shame what we got going on out here, but that's the way things are. And when I see these things going on, I realize how blessed I am to have a mother that I have. You know, I, I truly do. I, I'm so thankful for the mother that I got. And, you know, one day she might not be here and I realize that and I just want to show my appreciation to her hopefully one day she views this video and she sees it and she sees that um, you know I actually do love her a lot because I do and hopefully one day we can get past our differences about religion and stuff like that because, you know, she should know I'm not changing my beliefs. You know, my mother has a different faith than I have. And I try to t show her about why I believe what I believe. 
I'll put it to you this way. We believe in the same book, but, um, you know, some people take things one way and, and other people take things another. You know, I'm a spiritual Israelite. My mom don't, she don't ascribe to that, but she's a Baptist, but it's okay. I still love her. Um, she she handed me the Bible when I was a baby, and I thank God for that. But, you know, that's just one of the major differences we have between each other. But I just thank God for it. Shalom.